Solving the daily 7x7 sum pleat is pretty straightforward once you get into it. Let's go. One of the things I like to do first is look for small numbers. And anytime there's a small number like a 5, I look for numbers bigger than it and I X them out. Same thing here in this column. I'm going to get rid of the 6s and the 8. And again, with Sumplete, the goal is the circled numbers in a row should add up to the number on the right. The circled numbers in a column should add up to the number on the bottom. Now I'm going to look ahead and see that in this row, to get to 10, if I try to use a 9, I would need a 1, and there's no 1, so I'm going to X out that 9. I could use a 7 and a 3 or a 6 and a 4, but there's no combination with a 5 that gets me to 10, so I can X that out as well. There are a few ways to get to 10 here. I'm going to skip past this row for now. Here I've got 16, 20, 27. Uh, 27 minus 20, I need to get rid of 7. Nine's bigger than 7, so I'm going to circle that as one that I know that I need. I'll come back to the rest of this later. 16, I've got 11, 14, 19, I need to get rid of 3. A couple of ways to do that, but I know I need the 9. Here I've got 20, 22, 33. Too many ways to deduct 11, so I'll sit on that for now. Then I'm going to come back to this. On the left-hand column, I see that I've got 9, 15, 32. All right, so 32 minus 24 would be 8. Following that rule from earlier, the 9 is bigger than 8. So we're going to circle that. That clarifies a lot on this row. I need one more, and it's going to be one of these two, so I can X out the rest. Also, as I look at this column, I'm going to need eight more with this nine. And I could do a one and a seven, or the eight here. But there's no combination with the three, so I can X that out. Now adding this up, I get 25, 31, which means I need to get rid of 5. 6 is bigger than 5, 8 is bigger than 5, and there's only one combination left that lets me get rid of the 5. Now we're going to use our first shortcut. You may have noticed that the 26 just bolded here. If I click that, that'll circle this. Basically, if the remaining numbers add up to this and some of them aren't circled, you can tap that to speed things up and circle everything for you. Keep looking ahead here. This is 15, 24, 28. We got to get rid of 4. So we need to keep the 9 and the 7. We'll come back to the rest later. Now I'm going to look at this row and 9 and 8 would be 17. I don't have a 1, so I'm going to get rid of the 8. 9, and I need 9 more, which means I need a 4 and one of the 5s. Now when I x out this 8, this 24 lit up. So we can use that shortcut again, and that resolves quite a bit more for us. If we keep working up the rows, we've got 15 here. We need 5 more. Only one way to do that. Now there's another shortcut that I just used, which is if you know that the numbers add up, you can also use the clicking function to X everything else out. We're going to keep working up here. We've got 12. Here's a, a rule that is often overlooked, but we've got 12 and we've got an even number over here. So 
any odd numbers, I'd need multiple odd numbers to even things back out, and there's only one odd number. So I'm going to get rid of that. And then that puts us at 12. We need 10 more. I only see one way to get to 10, and it's with the 8 and 2. So again, if I know that these add up to 22 and I click this, it's going to X everything else out. Up here we've got 14. We can't use the 7s to get to 17. Now we've got 17 here, so again we can use that shortcut to X out. Shortcut to circle. And then if we come back up here, we've got 15. We need two more. Here to X, we've got 13. X this out, and we need that. Here we've got 4. We need one more. X out that 5. We've got 10. The daily 7x7 seven seven sum pleat may take a little more effort than the 5x5, five five, but with a methodical approach, you can consistently beat it every single day.